Hello my friends, my name is Mohamed Naveed and in this lecture I am going to teach you future continuous. So what is future continuous? In order to learn future continuous we need to see the usages. So the usages are the first usages, an action which will be in progress at a time in future. An action which will be in progress at a time in future, this is the first usage of future continuous. Second usage is an action in future which is already arranged in progress. An action in future which is already arranged in progress. Then we have the third usage. Polite way of asking others plan. Polite way of asking others plan. These all are the usage of future continuous. Now it's time to see the structure of future continuous. So the structure is here. Subject will be, shall be, fourth form verb plus object. Now we see the examples. The first example is don't call me at 7, I will be sleeping. Don't call me at 7, I will be sleeping. So definitely here we are, what we are doing? Here we are saying that don't call me. Don't call me. So this is what? An action which, an action, an action in future which is already uh, arranged in progress. Getting me? So definitely this is, definitely this is, uh, you can say uh, already arranged. No? This is already arranged. He, he is not talking about present. Okay. He is talking about future. So definitely this is already arranged. Getting me? Second example is, uh, don't call, uh, uh, sorry, he will be, he will be meeting his friends, he will be meeting his friends tomorrow in the afternoon, he will be meeting his friends tomorrow in the afternoon, definitely this is what an action which is, uh, you can say, which is already arranged in progress. Then we have, will you be, will you be going on picnic tomorrow, will you be going on picnic tomorrow, definitely this is what, this is the polite way of asking others plan, polite way of asking others plan. We are asking in the polite way we are asking na, that uh, uh, will you be going on picnic tomorrow? Will you be going on picnic tomorrow? Then we have she will not be watching TV. She will not be watching TV. Definitely an action which a, an action which will be in progress at a time in future. Definitely we are we are showing that definitely uh, an action which will be continue in future. He, then we have will you be playing cricket? Will you be playing cricket? Definitely is also polite way of asking others plan. Then we have what will you be doing? What will you be doing? Definitely. So this is also what polite way of asking other plan getting me so why do we use future continuous future continuous we use definitely to uh, definitely to uh, to, uh, to, uh, to ask this is a polite way this is a, what is the first usage or last usage polite way of asking others plan then we have an action in an action in future which is already arranged means we already decided that it will be in progress and then we have an action which will be in progress for example if we are saying here Okay, so definitely we are saying here, yeah, I will, you know, I will be learning computer, I will be learning, I will making tutorial. So definitely right now I am not making, I am not making or I was not making, but definitely an action in future, it will be continued. In, in the future, it will be continued. So an action which will be in continue, that is called future continuous. Now it's time to see the structure of future continue. So here we have the structure. First we have subject. What does it mean by subject? Subject means doer. Means we, here we are saying that who is doing? I am I, doing, he, uh, she is doing, uh, he is doing what? Definitely, we, here we say that subject means who is doing. Then we have will or shall, will or shall. If our subject will be, if our subject will be, I or we, we will use shall be. Getting me? And then we, we then we have, uh, you can say fourth form of verb. You know how many forms of verb do we have? We have fourth form, first form, second form, uh, third form and fourth form. Here we are using fourth form because this is continue. And definitely, do you know what is a word? A word which is used to indicate the act is called word. For example, uh, if we say that eat, if we say here eat, or if we say here dance, if we say here sit, if we say here make, if we say here uh, watch. So definitely, these all words are defining act. So any word which defines act is called word. Then we have object. Object is very important. Object tells us the, the you can say the whole uh, meaning of all the sentence. For example, if I say here. Uh, don't call me a seven. I will be. I will be sleeping. For example, if I say here, uh, here we have yes here. So uh, she will not be, or you can she will not be watching. If I if I don't use object, if I don't use object, so definitely you say she will watching what? She will watching what? You're confused, huh? Definitely. So object is telling that she will watching TV. So object is completing all the sentence. Get him. So here we have subject she definitely will will be definitely and definitely we use not to show negative definitely watching that in first form is watch and definitely we edit ing to make it negative uh, sorry uh, continue then we have object getting me 
so this was a lecture on future continuous i hope you have understood for more videos lecture and exercises come to my website www.navidplus.com allah fi amal and i will meet you in the next lecture till then allah hafiz